Hey, YouTube. This is Fire Wizard 23. And ow, her crabbiness hit me really hard across the face. Today, no, I let's didn't. <laughs> Today on the island of Dr. Ray. He's lying now. Oh, oh yeah. Take a look at this red welt. My lawyer will be in touch with you shortly. Ow. You have no proof. Oh yeah, yeah. I've got, I got all your witnesses. You all saw it. <laughs> No, okay. Nah, nah, enough kidding around. So we have something that says press button. And when it says you must press the button, of course, you must do so. Oh, oh no. What did you do? <sighs> look at, look at all fall out. Look what happened. You're not talking to me, are you? Yes! Like, I did not do anything. You pressed the button. No, but you made the pedal fall out. Ugh. No, I did not. Oh, we gotta fix it. Repair the navigation computer. On the left are four rows of computer component components. Each is missing one essential part. Study each row, looking for logical pattern for a logical pattern between co its components. When you discover this pattern, replace the empty space with the one component on your right that fits in the row. So pretty easy. Hmm. So let's see. It seems like the blue space is getting smaller. Uh, I think it might be this one. Mm-hmm. Here we yeah. fourth stripe. Fourth uh, green stripe. Sorry, there's going to be one green stripe in this one. The one at the top on the right? No, there'd have to be three red oh, ones. Wait. Oh, never yeah. mind, never mind. Now that one's getting more green. Yay! Congratulations! You have earned a bronze visual series plaque. Hey. Throw the lever forward. Oh, you read it wrong. You have to throw the lever forward. <laughs> throw the lever forward. Throw the lever. <laughs> no, first I think we're going to turn the pineapple level up. Let's fix it again. Let's fix it again. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's going to be on the so right. Let's see. One, two, three, so on the right. So oh, on the right with... Yeah. It's gonna be on. Um, blue is gonna be on the, the right. The right, second down. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's easy. These are all easy. This is a really easy puzzle. I found this one easier than the last one, to be honest. Well, of course it's easier than the music one. Congratulations. No, <laughs> the the pattern one. What was the last pattern we did? It was the one with the colors and stripes. Oh, oh, you mean in this puzzle. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought you yeah. meant a different room. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Throw the navigation computer. Yeah, yeah. So okay. It's, it's so, yeah, this is, this is always really no. easy. Oh. Yeah. You're breaking up. No. You... Can you hear me? Yes. You were breaking up again. Okay, you put the wrong one yeah. on. No, I didn't. Oh, wait, no, you didn't. I Never mind. Sorry. I used logic. I could not be wrong. You just said you were an idiot. The Gemini always conflicts himself. <laughs> Never mind. I come up with the most ridiculous explanations for things. I, I, I tend to find that's a quality of my personality, that I'm, I'm nothing but the duality of people. And I think I got it. Yay! Colored squares! Congratulations. Yeah, we got the gold. Okay. Now, we will throw the lever forward. You still there? Laura? Oh. You're really far away. And. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, we're back, folks. Let's throw... The lever! Oh no! Whoa, look out! Now what? I better take this chip that's broken. Okay, this is Dr. Brain's transistor logic puzzle. Test the old chip to learn its logic pattern. Next, use the logic gates to perform a new chip. To test out, uh, to test the old computer chip, follow three steps. Program. You said perform. 
I did. Use the logic gates to program a new chip, not Sorry. perform a new chip. <laughs> Place the damage chip in the chip test socket. By the way, this is really funny what comes up here. I love this. Yeah. And it's hit Press test. Press test button. Malfunction, signal noise, broken chip, rotten, reading right. logic. <laughs> the old computer the old chip is... The computer oh. chip is discarded. Sorry, whoops. Study the logic on the damaged chip uh, displayed on the screen. To operate the circuit programmer, perform the following. Decide which logic gates were used to produce the logic of the damaged chip output shown in column 0. Place the logic gates in the circuit area. Connect the input letters A, B, etc. to the logic gate in the, cir uh, the circuit area. Test the logic by clicking the condition, true or false, of the inputs in the test area and checking the outputs. Repeat step 4 until the outputs of the logic paths match the logic of the truth table. Press the program button to program the new chip. The prog button. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, now the uh, we have zeros and ones. Zeros mean true, ones mean false. So we got true true to be false, true false to be false, false true to be false, and false false to be true. So it looks like an That's or. almost kind of like an or statement, but it's backwards. So we need an yeah. or gate that's negated. Or ain't yeah. nor. No! Okay, I've got... I'm thinking about it backwards. It's not... This is what I hate about this. I learned this through... I think when I first learned this in computerized school, I've got... I remember it... How I'm logically thinking about it is correct, but I think I've got... I think either the puzzle is backwards or I'm thinking about it backwards. Because I'm pretty sure zero means true and one means false in computerized language. Okay. Because now... Was it that then? Yeah. yeah. Congratulations! You have earned a bronze logic gates plaque. Yeah, they're doing. They were doing the ones as the ands, as the Okay. Uh, so, do you want to do the? We should, but first, uh, what's happening? The most difficult. Well, yeah, but if you. Yeah, we can just. Solve, if you do anything at this point, you're just gonna solve the whole game, and you won't be able to. Throw the lever forward. Not quite. Yeah, don't do it. Do the harder puzzle. We should do the harder puzzles. Yeah. Another chip. Which I'm not going to be able to help you with because I really suck at this. Yeah, because now, oh, now I realize the one is true. That's right, not excellent upset. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here's a logic gates puzzle. Hmm. Okay, so basically C and B have to be one way and. Oh man, I don't know. Okay. What's interesting here is the circuit area on the right doesn't actually feature all three of these. It only features two of them. And it seems to be false or flowing at an inconsistent rate. Hmm. Do we have anything that helps us here? I'm, I'm no just, good. I, what I'm doing is I'm looking at one pattern and I'm looking at uh, looking at like two columns, I'm trying to see if there's any consistency here because it seems to most. Yeah, if C and B are similar and A is different, then you're gonna get false. Hey, you're right. Good job. Thank you. So how can that help us here? That, that's kind of what I was going for, but I didn't quite see that. But you're right. If C and B are the same, but A doesn't agree with them, there's a problem. C and B. Uh, C and B, I'm sorry. If C and B are... Well, there should be A, B, C. I don't know why it's C, B, A. Um, yeah, I don't understand that either. So how can we make that work? Because can't you add something here? Yeah, you could. So A and B have to be the same. But how could you make that work in logic gates is what I'm trying to think of. Because we have... A, so I think the, the main thing has to be and. Right? And. Yeah, if you use... And gates. If both of the things are the same, either true and true and f true, if it's true and true, it comes out true. If it's anything else, it'll be false. Using or gates, if there's any true or ones, it always comes out true. If they're that both false. That just went through one ear and out the other, but <laughs> I think we need an and okay. twice. It's tricky. It's kind of one of those things where 
I almost want paper in front of me. Uh, one sec while I figure this out. One sec, folks. Okay, folks, I think I might have... We kind of had to do a... Uh, interesting little thing here. Ah. Oh. That is not quite right. No. Nope. So we are, like, so close. We are so close. I can smell it. Really? Because we only can't... got, like, three of them right. No, because I know what is going to logically happen in the situation we've produced here. The C... Oh my god, I actually remember this symbolism. I can't believe I remember it. It'd be 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and then the A gate... Oh, whoops, put it over a little bit. It's going to be... Oh, we're still recording. One sec, folks. Okay, YouTube, we're giving up on this. We don't care. I don't care. I care, but... It's enough is enough. We spent a lot of time. It has literally been four hours we've been working on that puzzle. <laughs> now some snobby YouTubers are going to be like, It's so easy, you guys. All you have to do is this. It's, we see the answer, we just don't know how to yield it. Yeah. Oh, and I, I've been away from that stuff for so long, I just don't remember how to make the gates work. So let's push the lever. Yeah. I always thought this, this was kind of a cool reveal. Yeah. The Ryan is the big ship. I love that octopus. I don't know if that's how octopi swim or squids or whatever. Aha! The old ship hidden in the island trick. You've seen that one before. Wait a minute. Have you seen that one before? Have we? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so either. We'll cut, this at, this game. we'll cut this into multiple parts if this runs long, because now it's just going to be a uh, sequence. We can't uh, get past it. Oh, no! You are whisked away in Dr. Brain's Island ship. <laughs> so, <laughs> as you are whisked away, you wonder what what is this invention you've worked so hard for? What could you possibly use such a large... What could you possibly use such a large battery? That's you said it wrong. <laughs> Um, what could possibly use such a large battery? Oh, I see. Yeah. Dr. Brain eagerly awaits to show it to you outside his castle. Oh, oh, he does go outside. <laughs> the, the oh island my was gosh, in the land. that was awesome. The island was in the land. Yay, let's go, the, let's go back, yay. We go down, then we go back up for no reason. <laughs> yay. <laughs> back to his castle. What? It's an automatic ultra foot massaging, completely adjustable and reclining Shay's lounge beach chair, including all the amenities, of course. Lame. I hate his hair so much. I could not have completed it without your help. Thank you. Now let's see how well you did on my island. Well, we failed at the end, so I feel pretty bad. You, com <laughs> you completely <laughs> failed at the end. <laughs> Splendid! You've earned a superb score of 320 out of a possible 390 points. You've also earned 29 extra credit points out of a possible total of 287 extra credit points, which gives you, along with credit for your unused hint charges, a grand total of 414 out of the highest possible score of 1,000 points. Oh! Below average? I mean, Aww. below, not the average. Aww. Below the median, that sucks. In addition, you have earned 21 bronze, 14 silver, and 19 gold plaques. Hmm, we need to floss between meals. You solved more than half of my expert level puzzles, and the rest ate either novice or standard. At. That's a typo. Let's just say the rest <laughs> at. <laughs> and the rest ate either novice or standard levels. My recommendation, replay those remaining puzzles at either standard or expert levels. No chance. Next the next game is going to be the failed grammar of Dr. That, Brain. That, that, that flamingo beach puzzle, yeah, we're not doing that on expert. And now let me before. introduce you to my excellent staff. They are ex collectively known as Brainstormers. <laughs> I'm not going to read these because the faces are just too funny. Yeah. Oh, but 
I think these are some of the experimental posts for Phantasmagoria. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the mullet. He's rocking that mullet. <laughs> are these, like, are any of these people, like, like actual, uh, um... Um... This is, like, the Sierra staff, right? Yep. Because I, I, I knew Sierra didn't have a ver had a very small collective of game programmers, but... But I don't know if, like, these are, like, the classic ones or anything. Like, I mean, for example, I've never taken a note of Roberta's among these, or... Yeah. She is? Oh, no, I'm, I'm saying I, I know I understand what you mean. Yeah, it's like, are these just, like, nobodies? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, stock people, come out here, we want to use your pictures. <laughs> nice job, Patrick. <laughs> oh, it's so weird to play these, play adventure games and stuff, because I, like, kind of understand how it's made. <laughs> yeah, because I did a little bit of programming, so I actually kind of understand how it works. Except clearly we don't understand programming too well. So we did it! Yay! 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 So we completed the Island of Dr. Brain. How do you feel, her crappiness? I still feel pretty bad about not <laughs> finishing that puzzle, honestly. I didn't know what to do! I know! <laughs> you... I, we saw the answer, we really did, we just didn't know how to make it happen. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. that is unfortunately the end. It's kind of sad. No. Oh. Think you, we'll ever LP again together for crabbiness? I hope so. This is fun. I hope so, too. Maybe I can get some kind of a mystery game going of some type. Yeah, maybe. So, I think uh, until next time, that's the end of Let's Play the Island of Dr. Brain. We'll see everybody later. Bye, everyone.